Happy Monday. In Psalm 139, 11 and 12, we read, If I say, surely the darkness will overwhelm me, and the light around me will be night. Even the darkness is not dark to you, and the night is as bright as the day. Darkness and light are alike to you. The psalmist, King David, recognizes his fear, and he contrasts it with the truth his heart knows about his father. David chooses to place his trust in his heavenly father because David understands God knows all and is always present. When David placed his trust in his heavenly father, God transformed his heart, God shifted his perspective, and he gave him hope for his darkest days. Just like David, you and I cannot hide from our all-knowing, ever-present father. We cannot pull the wool over his eyes. We matter to him, which is why we cannot hide what we do from him. Similar to Adam and Eve's game of hide and seek, humans rationalize that as long as we are hidden and our sins are hidden and nobody knows about them, then they do not affect others. God's knowledge of us, as well as the places and the seasons we find ourselves in, are perfectly known by him. The things we've done and the things done to us, he knows intimately. There is an ache in our hearts that can only be filled by him. And there are wounds on our hearts that may be healed by the blood of Jesus. God's omniscience and omnipresence bring both fear and comfort though. Fear to those who do not like the light. The light exposes darkness, but the light is comfort to those whose hearts know that darkness does not win. There is victory at the end. This is a season the storm, whatever it is, will pass sin. Corey Ten Boom said, the blacker the night around us grew, the brighter and truer and more beautiful burned the word of God. Darkness and light are the same to God. We can trust him because he can see the end of this crazy story. Charles Spurgeon said, to trust God in the light is nothing, but to trust him in the dark, that is faith. John 1 9 reads, there was the true light which coming into this world enlightens every man. Jesus came into our world in the flesh to turn darkness into light. When Jesus becomes the object of your soul's desire, the power of the Holy Spirit is ignited within you and you have the ability to be the light wherever you go. Psalm 119 105 says, your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path. Jesus is the word. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God, John 1, 1. Jesus is the light. If you feel oppressed by darkness, seek the light. Let Jesus transform your heart, which will transform your perspective and give you hope for tomorrow, even on your darkest days. I hope you have a great week, my friends. I am praying for you always. Happy Monday. You are so loved.